Okay, welcome to the Breakcast. I'm your toast host, Joe Saunders. <laughs> now, this is the second episode of the Breadcast prequel trilogy. And just like the second episode of the Star Wars prequels, we're going to do a little bit of a reset. Last week's episode with the pumper nickel was baking wise, basically kind of a Phantom Menace type debacle. So this week, we're dialing it back. We're dialing back the goofy Jar Jar kid stuff. And we're going for more of an adult Attack of the Clones vibe. But of course, this runs its own risk because, as we all know, the Phantom Menace today is generally preferred over Attack of the Clones. Will that happen to this episode? What will our Dex's diner scene be? Will we also mimic the structure of a film noir similar to how George Lucas styled Obi-Wan's investigation into the assassination attempt on Padme? Am I way off course? I guess we'll find out. Anyway, this is our Desolation of Smog episode. And in terms of Baz Luhrmann's filmography, this is like the lavish 2004 commercial he directed for Chanel No. 5. Which was, interestingly, inspired by his own Red Curtain trilogy. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) So lost already. I'm lost too. Uh, Let's me welcome my guest to this episode. This is really exciting. This is our first rock band guest. Whoa. The the Slobby Boys. Mike Hanford, Tim Calpagas, hey. and Jeff Dunn. Welcome to the Breadcast. Rock and roll, everybody. Hey, you got a beautiful home, Joe. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we do beautiful record. Home. We record in my home. What I got lost too. What episode of the Star Wars? Okay, so this technology is, is this? This is the Breadcast. This is the second Breadcast trilogy. This is the Breadcast right. prequel trilogy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And this is, uh, I think, this will hopefully maybe be like Attack of the Clones. Okay, because mm-hmm. we had some issues last. The second of the prequel. Sure. In the previous okay. episode, and a little Baz. Lerman. A little Baz Lerman. Can we call it Attack yeah. of the Scones? Oh, Attack right. of the Scones is really good. Thank you. Uh, I might have to go rebake some. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait. That's fine. Rebake. So, do you guys like bread? Yeah, man. We like to carbo load. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I love it. There's actually only one band that likes bread more than this one. Oh, who, who is Smash it? Mouth? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the band Bread. No, oh, yeah. Does oh, I like bread. I, yeah, I gotcha. Uh, <laughs> they, they, you know, they're on Atkins. Joe, no. <laughs> hey, how do you keep up with your Atkins with this uh, podcast? Uh, we don't talk to my Atkins. Guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we, uh, you have an Atkins yeah, guy. I got an Atkins guy. We keep it in the dark. That never was scratched off your speed dial. Not know about this. Um, you know, what I was thinking about. Now you guys are rockers, mm-hmm. and I realized there's kind of. Uh, you know, a lot of chefs have kind of a rock star thing. Tattoos, bandanas. Yeah. 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 Thoughts on that. Uh, we're like, well, that. is there we, a crossover like, We have between... tattoos under our shirts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, we've well worked in, in the, I, I worked in a restaurant. Mike worked, Jeff worked in a co- chocolate factory. So mm-hmm. we've oh. been on the, in the kitchen before. That's right. You worked, you like baked and stuff. Yeah. You did, my, like, I was a barbecue for... cook at my parents' pizzeria. It was pizza and barbecue. And uh, Mike worked at a steakhouse. I was a st- at a steakhouse. I also I worked at a um, uh, making food at like a, uh, a snack shop at a country club near my house, but uh-huh. in more of a restaurant setting. It was a busboy. I was a busboy. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. But I never like. And, wait, uh, I did like. Um, I scooped a lot of ice cream right. in the summers. Um, and I also made some chocolate treats. You made Damn. them? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, like what kind of treats? Well, the chocolate comes as chocolate, and you melt right. it, and you put stuff in it, and you let it re <laughs> reharden. That's all. You put it into the molds and stuff. You put it in the molds. Yeah. And you... Did you ever have a Lucille Ball situation happen? Every day. They a good... Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> you come home from work with all stuffed into your bra. <laughs> um, I had like kind of a Desi Arnaz thing going on in my place. <laughs> kind of a ba- a Babalu bake. thing. <laughs> um, no, I never baked. Baking was the thing. I, I consider myself someone who can cook but not bake. I, 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 I you know there's too much science. You got to get things to rise. You need yeast. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The, the baking, I've done the like mixing the cakes, like the Betty Crocker cake mixing. Yeah. And to a varying degree of success, but uh, it's the frosting that'll get you. The frosting is tough. Getting me out of that pan challenge. and stacking them like a two layer cake, that's a mess. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you got well. You gotta let them cool. That's really important. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I won't. <laughs> um, it's tough. Eat them fresh. Oh, one one year, Hanford's mom called me up uh-huh. and asked me to bake a cake for him <laughs> for his birthday. <laughs> asked you to bake a cake. Okay. Yeah. She was like, Hanford likes. Yeah, she calls him Hanford. <laughs> <laughs> Hanford likes 
Uh, what, I, it's like a yellow cake yellow with chocolate cake ice cream. With cho- yeah. yeah, chocolate. chocolate frost piss frost. yellow, she said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you had to add more piss, do it. She sent you a bottle of my old, some of the old piss she was <laughs> keep for me. From when you were a kid? Make it like this. Well, no, when I'm over Christmas, I always like a sample. <laughs> but I think that was maybe the last time I've baked anything. Me, me Wow. <laughs> Hampered again. Yeah, I remember that. We had some milk with it, too. That was good. I mean, baking is very challenging. Uh, you know, last time, in the last episode, I tried to make a pumpernickel bread. I guess it was Deanna Reasonover. Mm-hmm. You guys know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a disaster. It turned out really In what bad. way? I just, it didn't work. It was like a big potato. <laughs> and this was Phantom Menace. <laughs> this was a Phantom Menace. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was dense? It was dense. <laughs> and it was really bad. Uh, yeah, I kind of went into it like George Lucas, thinking I was like a hot shot ready to get back into the game. Nobody baking. telling you no. Nobody telling me no. Yeah. Just like You're saying, surrounded by yes saying my ideas and everyone being like, oh, God. And then <laughs> like, well, it is Joe Saunders. Let him do it. Yeah. Pumpernickels. I feel like when I see a bread basket at a restaurant, if there's pumpernickel, I go for that because it's like looks interesting. But I don't know that when I'm eating it, it's better than the normal white bread or French yeah. bread or anything. Yeah. Pumpernickel. Is that the one? Is that the type of bread where and this is like a you'd see this at like cocktail parties or hors d'oeuvre parties or something in the 80s. It'd be like a huge <laughs> piece of bread, the middle cut out like a like a bowl. Uh-huh. Then that bread was cut into squares. You would then put a dip inside the bowl. Yes, bre- yes. Was, was that, that pumpernickel? Oh, is it? That was so popular. Like when I would go to like friends, parents, friends, you know, they'd have like parent parties and stuff and the kids would be. You know, oh. the basement goofing off and stuff like that. Yeah. I've definitely seen that, yeah. With yes. like an artichoke dip. Never yes. seen that. Yeah, yeah that's really lo- interesting. Oh, you guys haven't lived. Ch- a big like bread. round loaf of bread, yeah, with a oh. cut into like a bowl. And what you cut out is what you chop up into cubes for the dipping. What you cut out is what you put in. <laughs> yeah. It's like life. It's a, People don't like that metaphor anymore. But Joe, what do you know about this? You seem even an expert. I don't know right? anything yeah, about Pumpernickel. I've never even heard about that. That sounds great. <laughs> There's a very I, vacant stare in your eyes. Well, you wouldn't be able to hollow your Pumpernickel out. It was too hard to get a knife. Yeah, I there. needed a chainsaw on <laughs> TNT to do it. Um, well, should we? Let's try. So I let's try the bait good I've made. <laughs> For this if episode, you if you guys want, <laughs> yeah, you want. it's your show. You're, good, Joe. You just ate. Um, now you guys are a rock and roll band, sure. That's mm-hmm. true. So I made dinner rolls. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yep, the most, uh-huh. of course, logic. I were yeah. a rock and roll band. I thought so. you guys would be in it because we're rock and now, <laughs> dinner roll. I get these it. These are called technically Benet buttermilk rolls. Ooh, and, a, and they got sesame uh, seeds on them. They have sesame seeds on them, though. Usually, those are supposed to be something called Benet seeds. Mm, but okay. Benet seeds are very similar. They look like se- sesame seeds. They do. Like, well, they are. Se- Benet seeds are very similar to sesame seeds. I can get Benet seeds, so I want sesame for, seeds. For the listener, this looks like it's you know camera ready for a, a uh, Applebee's commercial. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Thank this you. Is, this Although, is gloss. Look at it. Let me ask you this. The, the sesame seeds are mainly sitting in the crevices between right. the buns. Did they start on top and slide down? I don't. They were supposed to stick to the top, and they yeah. just went into the crevices. You got to put a little glue up on yeah, top Yeah, well, there is a little bit of an egg <laughs> wash on there. I don't know. We'll talk about it. But just to give people an idea of what we're looking at here, I these are baked in a cast iron skillet. Mm. And they're a little small, basically like the size of golf balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, like a Titleist or a yeah. top flight. You hit a, you hit a, a, you know, a club into this thing. It's going to not go so far. No, that's true. Know. Tiger um, Woods could do it. Maybe you wouldn't be. You'd be disqualified from PGA play. <laughs> uh, and it shouldn't be now because he's he's good again. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's try this. Do you guys want to try this? Hell yeah! I yeah. think these this just came out of the oven about Ooh, fifteen careful. minutes ago. So. Let's it see, smells great in here. Well, also uh, for the list. Thanks. You know, I also took a shower today. Um, <laughs> uh, Being ready? Let's see if we. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I think you can just just I pluck. Think we can just pluck these off. It pulls apart like a monkey bread, yeah, huh? We'll, yeah. Let's see. Well, maybe a little too. Look, the whole thing just, comes right out. This looks perfect. That. I thought yeah, that would great. be a little so stickier than it is. The top, you mean? I uh, I thought that it would be stuck to the skillet, but you looked like you did a good job. Yeah, help, your, help yourself. It's not too hot. It's not too hot. All right, I'm grabbing. And, All right, and, and don't forget me. Down there. Okay, should I open the butter? You can, you can get the butter. The butter is optional. Now, uh, on I want to taste your your bread yeah. with before it has delicious butter. I on think, it. yeah, I think yeah, that's good I think that's worth it, Dave. I'm gonna I'm gonna give now just engineer. first impressions. This looks nice and biscuity. Oh, that say. is oh, that is good. Well, yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about this. You guys can go ahead and try it, and I will talk a little bit about what these are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, mm. So these are. These are Benet buttermilk rolls. 
And this is recipe was I wanted to make. We talked about dinner rolls in the last episode, and I want to do that. And this recipe was recommended to me by the broadcast rocker himself, Danny Cohen, who made our theme song. Oh, right. He's Ooh. made this. And it's from a cookbook called Heritage by a chef named Sean Brock, who is a... I know that guy. He's great. He's on... He just did an episode of Chef's Table in this latest season. Hmm. Have you been to... Well, he, you know he hosted him? a season of Mind of a Chef and yeah. stuff like that. I've been to Husk in... Uh, Nashville, and it was the, fantastic. They supposedly serve these at Husk. Oh wow! This is uh, I, I've never been to Husk. I've only just Husk is amazing. I ha- I just had I had like a um, a vegetable platter, and uh, I didn't have any bread. But even I mean, somehow I ate a vegetable platter and loved it. So that's a good restaurant. Ooh, that is good. So Husk is like supposedly a low country southern restaurant, something like that. And there's one in Charleston, and I think a few other locations. He was the founding chef there, though I don't think he's the chef there anymore. Oh, I think he's left. To go do stuff. On good or bad terms? Uh, good question. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's also, yeah. um, speaking of rockers like us, he's like a big uh, guitar pedal guy. His yeah. Instagram is mainly like blues guitar riffs. Well, you know a lot about this guy. You know about his Instagram? What's I know, his name again? I, yeah, I know about it. <laughs> um, Sean Brock. I mean, he's a giant Brock. celebrity yes, chef. Yes. Really cool uh, dude. Is um, he another one of these badass dudes? Yeah, he's got he's tattoo big. sleeves and he wears kind of like vintage baseball caps. Mm. He's a, I would call him a hipster. Mm. Yeah, his uh, Twitter photo is him holding a guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it seems like he's cool. very into this. Um, <laughs> but, uh, let me see what else. I um, Joe, say. I just finished my first roll. Um, unrelated. Is there a bathroom I can switch? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a, a vomitorium around here? Yeah, I just want to just stop it real quick. Uh, Taking no time at all. No, no there's not very, a bathroom. We don't have a bathroom. It's very good. I put butter uh, on my next one to see. Oh, okay, it good. Yeah, try to see. Because it's nice and warm, so this butter is going to melt right in oh, there. Oh, yeah, let's give it a That's shot. Good. Let, me, let me take a bite of this real quick, and then I'll talk a little yeah, bit. You haven't even had some. Mm, mm, mm. I have one complaint already. Oh, my God. Oh, no. There's not enough. That pan is too small. I need more. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's kind of nice one. Feast. It's very good. It's I'm I'm trying to remember. There's a, the teeny bit of kind of sweetness is reminding me of some. I've never had this bread before, but this is reminiscent of like a. It's like Easter, and you're eating this big round bread that has like Easter eggs baked into it. Have you ever seen that kind yeah, of bread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what kind of bread that is. Right? Is it called Easter bread? Yeah, let's call it Easter bread. It might have okay. like. A... How have you all seen different breads out in the world? This I is the second there, exotic bread that I've <laughs> never seen before. What's the name of this again, Joe? These are Benet buttermilk rolls, um, and there is a little bit of sweetness in them. That's sugar. There's a little bit of sugar in this. Mm. When you say Benet, like be, like um, like the uh, New Orleans dessert beignet. No, Benet. No. Be, I mean, be, I Jean Benet be, Ramsey. Like, like, <laughs> no, Benet. I'm trying to enjoy my bread. <laughs> Uh, Benet is B. If I, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. B E N N E. Bennett. Oh. Bennett. Uh, Bennis Elaine. <laughs> Elaine Bennis. Uh, and Benet. It's originally supposed to be Benet seeds, which are the seeds that would go on top. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Which are very similar, are just a little bit different than sesame seeds. I ended up using sesame seeds because I couldn't find Benet seeds. But <laughs> Benet seeds are, uh, I guess, I, I did a little bit of research, and are, it is slightly more pronounced and bitter taste. Them. Ooh, I'm glad we that's went what sesame. It is. It's, Otherwise, ooh, a little it is an odd. It's it's like a bitter taste. It doesn't like taste bready. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, now, did you want it to taste bready? <laughs> well, I don't know. I think I wanted it to taste like I imagined. I just wanted to make like a, a good dinner roll. I, I feel like I love a dinner roll uh, when I'm at a nice restaurant mm-hmm. or like a nice when someone's made like a big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to you want to make a lot of that thing that people fill up on yeah. before yeah. the meal comes. Yeah. Now this. To me, this is delicious, and I and I like it. But a dinner, every dinner roll I've ever had is um, less dense. You know, would be fluffier yes. than this. This this is like a pretty. It's not like a Hawaiian uh, roll. It's like a doughy. Mm-hmm. It's definitely like thicker than what I was imagining. Like a typical dinner roll is like. Um. May I uh, ask for the butter? Oh, oh yeah, and the butter. And, a, and another two rolls. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah! Oh my god! I'll say this: I feel my uh, the the carbs are kicking in. I feel like a rush of energy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I get to uh, lift this go. whole table. Wow, that's great. Uh, well, let me just talk a little bit about the baking of this. Let me tell you guys a little bit. So, Sean Brock, that's the chef's name. Sean um, Brock. Sean Brock. Um, these are fresh out of the oven. Now, I did a little inter- different thing this episode where I actually, this is the second time I've made these this week. I did a test, a test run Ooh. of them earlier this week because I was nervous about them. You little sneak. I was a little sneak. 
Made them uh, today's Thursday. I made these on. I made a batch on Monday to try, and then learned a few things. Tried that, <laughs> did some things differently. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I think these turned out a little bit better than those. Um, so the, the ingredients to this are just sugar, honey, and salt. And then you use two kinds of flour: bread flour, and then an all-purpose flour. Honey in there. Hmm. Honey, a little bit of honey. Uh-huh. Um, and then you put in buttermilk and yeast. Just uh, I just use an active dry, a dry active yeast. In the recipe, they asked for a crumpled fresh yeast, and I've never used that before. So I did. So I found Danny suggested that I could just use a different amount of dry active yeast. If you guys are familiar with different kinds of yeast, <laughs> did you it. look for crumpled and couldn't find it, or you just didn't, didn't give it a chance? Before. Is it? Is <laughs> you it? You never used it before. Why start now? Yeah. When the recipe calls for it. It's right. still just a powder, though, right? Or yeah, it would it? just be a powder. I mm-hmm. think. I don't. I kind of did a little bit of googling, and I was like, I don't want to learn about this. Um. <laughs> so it then. So huge. So. You basically combine all those ingredients. You kind of make a dough, a dough out of that. You need that for five minutes. Then put that in a warm place to rise. Rises for an hour. Take that after an hour. It's supposed to have doubled in size. Kind of had doubled in size. I took it out, and then you're supposed to, uh, um, what are you supposed to do? Oh, punch it down, which is where you take like a risen dough, and you kind of just knead it a little bit so it deflates again. Let it rise a second time. So now it's had to rise for two hours. Mm. When it when it rises, it it just gets kind of bloomed out, like yeah, it literally like will just like become mm. larger in shape, and that's it, like filling with air. Okay, basically developing these air pockets. You let it do that for another hour, so it's risen for two hours now, and then you take it out, and then you break it into these smaller. You break, uh, you punch it down again, and you break it into these smaller little spheres, basically, and you put those. So then I I broke it down into I think there are twenty two, uh, little rolls here. Mm-hmm. Put those Whoa. into this cast iron skillet, mm-hmm. let that then rise for two more hours. Jeez. So it had to, this is a lot of rising. Wow. Four hours total rising. So I will, I got started at 9 a.m. today. <laughs> um, Dang. Now, how big were these balls when you put them into the cast iron skillet? Not that much smaller. I have a photo. I took a photo earlier, but not really that much smaller. I would say like ping pong, ping pong ball. <laughs> uh-huh. And now these are kind of like fat. I don't know. Maybe these are little fat like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So not crazy big, but they definitely like poof up over the top of the cast iron mm-hmm. skillet. Uh, yeah. So after they've risen for two hours, then you stick them in the, you put on a little bit of an egg, a dual egg mixture or you, egg and water. You brush that on the top. That's supposed to give it kind of its nice brown color. Mm-hmm. Egg wash. is it? Egg wash. Mm-hmm. Yes. And sprinkle on the seeds. I think the seeds are supposed to typically the egg wash makes the seeds stick to the very top, but I don't know if I didn't put off enough egg wash because the seeds have kind of slid into slipped. The crev- mm-hmm. They've gone into the crevices. But I like it. You hit a pocket of them and you get a big blast of seeds. Oh, that's good to know. It's like a flavor blast. Oh, okay. Kind of like a, a gusher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like a uh, gusher. Sesame seeds. <laughs> did they have? Did Gushers candy have a sesame seed flavor? Yeah, there's oh, like. Oh, I think I that does something. It's like in radical the, raspberry, yeah. wacky watermelon. And in the and middle of these ones, it'd be crunchy <laughs> sesame seeds. <laughs> it's not goo. It's just the seeds. <laughs> Pocket full I of think seeds. It's funny that not one sesame seed stayed in place. They it all. Is yeah. They all slid. Yeah. I don't know went into the crack. Well, Joe, it sounded like that uh, thong bathing suit you were telling me about the <laughs> yeah, other, yeah, that you were wearing at the beach last I was hey, trying to get that to stay outside of the butt. Sliding into the crack yeah. is what you told you me. Wanted it up on the you cheeks. wanted it up on the yeah. cheeks. <laughs> and you, uh, put, you put an egg wash on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I texted you. To say, yeah. oh. I said, I'll be down the beach as quick as I can, but this is my, you're on your own for this one. <laughs> yeah, it does apply to the situation. It's very really similar. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but then, yeah, then you just bake them for 25 minutes, 400 degrees. It's a hot oven. Yeah. Uh, now you're not, no, no, you're not getting in there with it. No, you don't okay, get in there with God. it. Uh, I think I did differently from the, cause I made these on Monday when I first baked them for that 25 minutes at 400, took them out. They were bl- dark brown on top. Of burnt, mm. And I was like, what is, I just, look, I followed Cause the it's recipe. a high temperature. It's a high temperature. So I did a little bit more research and somebody was like, <laughs> put foil over them about halfway through. That'll keep them from browning too much on top. Now, really? when you opened up the oven halfway through to put the foil on, were the seeds slipped off yet? Or the did seeds, the foil knock them put off? the seeds on, the seeds slipped oh, off. Oh, right, right. I knew what was happening. Because <laughs> I was going to say maybe it was the foil's problem. Yeah, I, no. that's a good thought. But I, as soon as <laughs> I put the seeds was on, done. The dan- I was like, I don't know what to do about the seeds. Hmm. Um, but then, yeah, then they came out and pretty much, yeah, Just they've cooled seed. about 15 minutes from the 15, 20 minutes since I took them out of the oven to when we're eating them right now. Hmm. Wow. It's amazing. I didn't know that there yeah, were any job. breads that were cooked that fast and hot. 
Yeah. You, you have a whole day of letting it rise and stuff like that, and then you grill it at the end. It's crazy. It's a lot. This is insane. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, even for rock and roll guys like us, this is a little a little bit nuts. I thought be- bread. I thought I thought bread rose as you baked it, not that it rises on its own and then you bake it. A little bit of both. Hmm. Do you have a proofer? No. You mean like a bread machine, or yeah. what do you mean? No. I don't know. On the British Baking Show, they put it in a when oh. they needed to rise, they put it in a little thing. Um, I do a proofing drawer. I think they use on the yeah. bin. I don't have one of those. I don't know what those. I don't know what those do. I my guess is that it's like slightly warmer, yeah. but it's not all the way to being an oven. That's probably it. Because when like I a made, cigar uh, s- seller. Yeah. It says to place them in a warm when you're laying it rice. Place it in a warm place, but I wasn't even sure where to. Like put it in the apartment. Right? Put it near your heart. Yeah, <laughs> put it near the heart, and I uh, think about Rachel. <laughs> um, I did. I I ended up putting it in the oven, but I didn't turn the oven on. I turned the light on in the oven. Perfect. Okay. Which I've heard is a thing, and really? it seemed to be effective. But I don't know. I, I think I, I think get, it worked. I think I got they had different right lights in ovens, like a strobe light and a spotlight, <laughs> yeah. and a kind of a uh, you know a colored like blue and red, like a stage in there, <laughs> and your bread is a rock star. Very <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I think these turned out pretty good. What do you guys? They you turned guys out great. Awesome? Very good. Great. I think it turned out great. Jim. A little dense, but a good flavor. I mean, dense. I like I, I we all just ate so much Penang curry before yes. coming here, and then we still managed to eat this bread and like it. Yeah. Even though we arrived full and sick, what? so that's a good sign. The, it, it, did, did it cook all the way through? It feels a little uh, moist. Oh, careful. Does it? Well, maybe it oh, not, not in a not in a bad way. Just yeah, it's, yeah. That dense, <laughs> it's that dense. It's that dense thing six you're talking you. about. Let's put a toothpick in there. See if it comes out dry. Well, it does say that you're supposed to use a thermometer <clears throat> to test the temperature in the middle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you didn't. I didn't. I kind of play fast and loose. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> bad um, boy. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know. Did it bake all? I, I, it. I can't. I think it kind of maybe it didn't. It's bake got all a way sticky through. quality to it. it. Does have a sticky in a uh, in a dense like a like sticky a bun. Dense, it, what sticky bun? Yeah, dense sticky bun. That's okay. That's good. I'm just I'm just saying. We can also you, also guys just be on it. You know, look. We hate it. We, you can yeah, say it. All right. <laughs> I don't think you want that. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I think you want us to come to your home. Say you're a great baker. Oh, okay, put okay, your okay, little okay. hat on you and tuck you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sleep in your hat? I don't know why. That's what you want. <laughs> um, oh, I hated do, it. Okay, do you guys, <laughs> Mike, kidding. Tim, do you guys remember the wet bread at BJ's Sub Shop? No, at in the towers at Ithaca. Oh, wet oh, oh bread? It's, it's, bread? Bread. it's like they had. There it's was a sub. A, it's a sub place. There was like a sub it's shop on campus. The sub connection. The sub was that what it was? Yeah, it was BJ's uh, convenience store, and the sub connection was the sandwich. <laughs> yeah, the sub connection was its own thing. Um. And like I used to always be tempted to like, oh, the dining hall's closed, but sub connection is open. And I would get the bread back there and it would be gummy in the middle. <gasps> like oh, that's often, just undercooked. Often. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, they no, would just under- I can't imagine they were cooking it there, right? Uh, they probably were, but yeah, it's some, like it's some like a uh, subway where they have those little like tubes of dough. <laughs> oh, but I got to be honest with you, I rarely eat there anymore. Yeah, Saunders, you you, <laughs> you got to go over there and chew them out. You you got to do like a uh, uh, restaurant impossible to this. It would be kind of fun to do an out of town breadcast episode and just go to a, a town I've never been to before. <laughs> <laughs> of all your um, first on the road episode, you choose Ithaca, New York, yeah. to go to BJ's subs. It could be good. You put a know, bread maybe. sheriff pin on your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we could probably just walk in. Now, do you think this is a bread that is... Me- Some breads are the main event. Other breads, you make a sandwich out of them. This one being kind of a dinner roll, it feels like... Do you think it's meant to be eaten on its own, or am I supposed to be kind of like mopping up my gravy with it? Oh, that's interesting. There you go. This, it, I, this is a, a mopping size. I it think. does this feel like a mopping yeah. sandwich. Uh, yeah, it feels like this is like... Yeah, this goes on like the side of the plate when you're eating whatever else you're eating with it. Yeah, I think so, too. Or as a little appetizer if you're... I assume at a uh, husk... The, the restaurant, mm-hmm. um, they give it to you beforehand. I think that's what I understood from just reading online. That's nice. Anyway, on the breadcast, we always rate the breads. Um, but today's different. Today's different. No. Oh. Well, we always change the rating system. It's never a consistent rating system. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always ask the guests to choose the rating system. Mm. How about uh, seeds? See? <laughs> yeah. This has seeds on it. It'll be... Uh, should we do maybe uh, one to ten seeds? Yes, sure. Sure, seven being the best, ten being the worst, five being middle. That sounds good. I'm yep. joking. Joe. Um, I'm just trying to throw can a add into it. Can we add a color just for 
Like yeah. I give I give it three red seeds and one brown. I think <laughs> wow, that sounds, that sounds great. That does not sound like a good rating, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually no, is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like, actually one of the best ones. Is it good seeds? to have ten oh, brown the seeds? Oh, the brown seed is high. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give yeah I give it zero gold seeds and no I what. Here's the thing. I, I give you a, a very good score for your execution of this bread. But oh, then right. when I'm thinking this this Sean Barack bread in comparison to all the breads of the world. <laughs> okay. Or or how well you executed this Benny bread. I usually do this or I compare this to other, like I would say the top rating I would ever give something like this is like the top dinner roll in the world. Got it, got it, got that, it. Mm. And then you know, a bottom rating would be it's inedible. Okay, no, that's kind of this is not that's how I think that. I don't. This doesn't seem to. I don't think this is inedible, but it is a little I, thick. I will yeah. say, did you get a picture of it before we t- uh, tore into it? Yeah. Okay, because that was that, that was, was a great the golden brown. You really did golden a brown in the golden skillet. Brown. This looks like a you know a, in an era. It looks Country like, B and B. you, you could have told me it was like a Blue Apron or something. Oh, okay. You it know, pulled like, apart easy too. Yeah, it was yeah, very nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know if we really talked about that. You can just like reach and pull these apart. These because they all little, came in separately. Yeah, yeah. They came in separately, they and they were all kind of smushed in together. But then, but they kept their shape. It's not like it was just one blob of bread. Like, like they, when yeah. when you grab a piece of pizza and it grabs like half of the slice yeah, yeah, next yeah, to yeah, it, yeah. it's not doing any yeah. of that. No. Um. I don't know. Uh, let's just go around. Let me yeah. let me Whatever start rating this thing. Rating so I really, I like the off? taste of it. I the presentation, like I said, was that's a ten for me. Wow. Okay. The presentation is a ten. Mm-hmm. Seeds. Ten seeds. Okay. Ten golden brown seeds. That's the that's, that's an the incredible highest. seed. That's yeah. The, the seed coloring is high on that one. Uh, the taste. Let me see. Of the breads I've had, this is a seven. This is a seven. That's taste pretty high. For me. I think. Very high. And this is also an interesting flavor. I can't describe it. Oh, interesting. It's the, the honey and the sugar. It's like very subtle, but it's in there. And there is, you're right. There's, there's not a ton of it in there. It's but but it's, you can amount. you can just hint it. Yeah, there's yeah, a hint yeah. of it. Uh, I'd say um, presentation. I'm also going 10 seeds and they're 10 brown seeds, but he said golden brown. I'm saying shit brown. Okay. <laughs> Which is actually oh, better. Whoa. It's still oh, ten. Still a per- perfect still score. It looks beautiful. It looks like like Country Living magazine. It looks great. Yes. Now, uh, taste. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say. You said seven. I'd maybe go six. Mm-hmm. And I would say because it's very good, and I like it. And this type of bread is up my alley. But kind of existed in a spot between like. I could imagine it either being sweeter or saltier, but it was kind of like uh, right in the middle. Uh, and you know, I want I want a bread that has the guts to be one or the other. That's a okay. mm. that's a good yeah. I do mm. kind of miss that salty flavor. With this, yeah, so I think it would really yeah. Yeah, but then again, if if we're treating like a dinner roll, if I'm dipping that into a dinner, then maybe it shouldn't have too pungent of a flavor. Right. But six, regardless, the butter helped with that salt. Uh, the missing salt. Okay. Oh yeah. The butter was great. <laughs> the butter ten, was, ten seeds for the butter. The butter was so wad. Um, great, Jeff. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna agree with my cohorts here. That presentation was ten golden. No, uh, ten brown, but my brown will be like pudding brown. Oh, oh, that's good. Not quite shit. Yeah, no, no. you're but, talking about Jello pudding pack snack. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he is. And then um, as far as, you know, all, all the rest of it goes, I haven't had a dinner roll that has made an impression on me mm. in my whole life oh. until, yeah, that's a, well, to, until today. Oh, are you kidding, wow. are you kidding, kidding me? This is a talk about you talking about <laughs> down. Oh, my God. Now, I see this as the all-purpose roll. You could have, I, the first one I had, I finished the whole thing by itself. Mm-hmm. No wow. butter, no nothing. Second one? Butter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I could picture. Yeah. But I could picture dunking that thing wherever. Yeah. Yeah. But I think most of it was just because I'm here with good friends having a good time. Yeah, I yeah, never talked company, this much about a bread. It's the good company that's more important than yeah. the actual taste. It's I give breaking that, bread with your friends, <laughs> Joe. Ten. Wow. Ten out of ten. Good company. I would also give a ten. I will joke, not jokingly, give you a ten, Joe. Also for making bread. I've listened to this podcast before. People get their is the cookies. I get that, but it's yeah. not bread. Yeah, that's ginger gingerbread. I guess is a bread. Right. That was a that was a bit of a. But uh, you went for a, a straight up bread. 
Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Well, and I've awesome. had your breads before, and I'm not ever disappointed. Oh, thank you, hey, yeah, um, Joe. Real quick, have you have you ever done a pita? Oh no, but I'd love I want to see a, t- a, sounds, a pita. A, a pita sounds challenging. Pita sounds like something like no, you don't make those at home. They just you get them at the store or the right. restaurant. Yep. Wow, I got a strong opinion about pita, which is that of all the foods. It loses the most quality when it cools down. Like hot pita bread, I think is the best food yeah. on earth. Mm-hmm. And then cold out of the pack, I think is garbage. Cold, it's like a French fry, you know, like a cold yeah. fry is no good. Um, well, Joe, if you're going to make pita, just always remember, the, you know, the rhyme. Okay. If the pita is sweeta, <laughs> send it under the toilet seat. Yeah. <laughs> if the pita is brown, turn the oven down. <laughs> if the pita has a pocket... Put it in a little socket. Oh, yeah. yeah. Electrical. <laughs> yeah, to, to cook it more. No. Uh, that's really good to remember. Yeah, just remember that. Um, I'll just give my rating real quick. I think 10, the, the, the I would give this a nine. A nine on the presentation because the seeds. I wish those seeds were on the top. seed incident. I wish the seeds had the not seed. slid in. Mm. You I mean, know, I overlooked that for my presentation. Okay, but I'll still well, stick too, with the it. Stick it with does the look kind of cool with them in the it crevices. It looked intentional to me. If you said like, that was it, on purpose, I'd if, like it. If it was like half and half, like some were hanging out on top and a bunch were in the cracks, I'd be like, "What is he doing?" But uh, <laughs> since since they were all sort of like nestled in, like veined throughout, I thought, "Hey, this guy knows what he's doing wow. with these seeds." Well, I guess it's just a happy accident then. Yep. Um, well, I would give those. So, yeah, I would give presentation. I would give this an 8.5 uh, brown seeds. Um, <laughs> but my brown seeds will be um, Judge Joe Brown. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and then uh, taste wise, I would give this. I would probably also I would give this like a 6.5, I think. I, or maybe I don't know. 6.5, I think I would give this taste wise because it does feel a little dense. But I think it's a good taste. I don't know. I'll definitely yeah. eat the rest of it. I don't know. It is very... Uh, I, I like the density. It's fun to take a, a little golf ball roll and then still get that much of a meaty treat. Yeah. Um, oh, great. We tried the bread. We like the bread. We, we yeah. tried it. We liked it. Great. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Training for a marathon it's, over here. It's funny how similar to a pretzel it is when you say that. It is oh. kind of like a pretzel. It does kind of yeah. like a pretzel body to it. It does. Now, are pretzels boiled like bagels? Is that why they're... I think they are. Well, they're deep or fried, right? They're are they big? I think I you can... I think... I don't know. I, don't so know. I think you can maybe... There's maybe a couple ways. Huh. Boiled. You got to yeah. do a pretzel episode. I would, that sounds like a tough one. Making a pretzel... Oof. Well, don't be dissuaded. And by the Annie shape. does it. <laughs> the the shape looks complicated, but that's not that the hard like part. The hardest part. Just make the sticks. I think they're trying to make the sticks, and then they fuck up and <laughs> twist it every time. Um, well, great. Well, we tried the main bread. Um, usually, it. and usually at this point in the show, uh, I kind of we have a segment called Surprise Rise. Oh shit! Where I reveal that I made a second baked good, Dave. Oh year, my this. god! Um, but I actually revealed last week, or I announced last week that I that I did for the first trilogy. <laughs> I announced that I can't have canceled surprise. <laughs> That's your surprise. segment. That's too bad. Um, and then we had uh, I announced there was a new sec a new segment called Surprise Pies. Oh, where I made a pie. Unfortunately, I have to. I'm announcing now that I canceled surprise. Pies. <laughs> oh my god! It's, yeah. it's just too. This is. I baked this twice this week, so it's wow. just like too. I much think. I don't think. I. I think that when you have a big like surprise announcement, people don't really love it when it's just a cancellation. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, yeah, we didn't need to know about the cancellation. Or... Usually, people want to hear of a new thing, not that the thing they like yeah, is gone. That thing you like. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> uh, this, the thing about this podcast is not being listener friendly. Okay, okay. Now I get it. Um, but I do have a new segment. Uh-huh. And this is totally different than even anything we've ever done on the breadcast. Yeah. And, is, and on the next episode, you're going to cancel it. Probably. Well, who knows? What, maybe this might be the they last episode. looking at me like I'm in on You're in on this. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I, in the spirit of you guys being here, a rock band, this is, I haven't, I've written a song. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I going, can't wait to hear that. I'm oh, going to prepare. Good. I'm going to perform a song. <laughs> yes. Um, a I'm song excited. that I've written. Um, and I actually have the guitar back there. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. This is good. Is this um, an acoustic guitar? Uh, Oh, you're about like to see electric case. Um, oh, I see Gibson no USA. It might be, you know, it could be a Les Paul. Yeah, could I have be a ES three fifty five. Behind me right now. Uh, so I guess I'll just uh, you know you've had a guitar, get out yeah. my guitar. You have an acoustic. You have, yeah, okay. Um, He's got a lot of guitars here. Yeah, but I do need to. You're reveal, an axe maniac. I need, do need to reveal one other thing. That last week um, I announced there was another segment that was canceled. I've uncanceled this other segment. <laughs> The segment Joe's Fibs has been uncanceled, and I'm now revealing that the previous things I just told <laughs> wasn't Joe's Fib, and that this is so there's no song. And now there, the song, the song is actually 
that the surprise pies segment is back. <laughs> oh, uh, surprise pies! This is insane! Wow! wow. <laughs> He's got a wow. pie inside of a Gibson guitar case. Yo, that's something else. Wow. So I, is, I, my head is spinning. Whoa, such that needless theatricality. <laughs> I can't believe the zigs before and zags. We, before you reveal this joke, can I say something? <laughs> I've listened to the podcast, every available episode to me. Yeah. And I know this. Uh, there was going to be a second treat. <laughs> You did? I also knew it had something to do with the guitar because you had <laughs> more plates and a cutting board on top of the guitar. <laughs> and your Gibson guitar, which should be in any case, is in a thing over there. And your guitar smelled like pie. <laughs> They, that was, you were picking up on the guitars being plays different. I, not, I you, know. You were very, you, it's hard to get to life. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, so that's the guitar that would normally be in the case. Now I see. You're like a detective. It's like a here. Columbo. Uh, yeah. One more thing, so, Joe. Uh, the pie, the surprise pie, <laughs> oh the second God. thing we'll be trying is a key wow. lime pie. Oh, oh, hell yeah, baby. Key lime pie. This is good. I was just wow. in the keys, Joe, so I, I know the reference point. That here. presentation I'm an expert. That, is now look fantastic. at that. Look at that lime twist. I put a twist. little. Yes, it has a little lime uh, garnish. That's <laughs> on nice. top of it. That's so this great. is a key lime pie with a graham cracker crust. Yeah, Woo! baby. Um, and I think we can. And I have I have some other limes. If you I I did, didn't really garnish it that much. There's other limes to put on. I also have canned whipped cream. Last week I made whipped cream, but I didn't have time to do it, so I just bought a can. That's fine, That's fine okay. man. Um, Let me ask you this: lime. that uh, garnish lime on top to twist is that candied or is that just a normal raw lime? That's just a normal lime. Okay, that is a brand new. This lime. nice. Um, I, I it's like. Fine. I like picturing it's, you twisting it like that. I saw this on. I was trying to. I saw this online. I was like, I'm gonna give that a little. Mm. I, I never do that kind of thing. Kind of uh, makes and, me want to do the twist. And um, Joe, the uh, the pubic hair on the pie is that a licorice or you're? Oh, <laughs> I'm uh, kidding. That's there's no. <laughs> um, this looks beautiful. Well, yeah. Should we cut into it? You guys want? Yes. Try it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks Let's great. See. So, did you crumble those graham crackers yourself? I did crumble it. Yeah. Dang. Is Ooh. it a name brand uh, graham cracker? Um, Can you I say? think it is the Albertsons brand graham cracker. That's a name brand to me. Really? Um, That's where I shop. Um, <laughs> if you guys wanted to cut your own pieces, no, like, no, I'm like the host. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll just get it started then. I'll now cut, the, cut it's got little speckles in it. Uh, is that zest? That is zest. That is a little, yeah. So it's uh, we have the graham cracker crust around the side. It's a little the crust itself is a little messy because uh, I've never made that before. And then the, the pie is a yellow with the kind of lemons or lime zest mm -hmm. pieces in it. The the mist the. Uneven crust though gives it yeah, again that, another rustic. That little feels rustic nice and home style. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be back tough to get another out magazine cover. <clears throat> we'll see if this is gonna be easy to get out or not. And you guys cut out all this sort of fumfering when we're passing out pies and stuff. Oh right? yeah, no one would want to listen oh, no. to this. Oh no, it's, it's folks. It's sticking to the tin. Oh no, he's got it. While Joe's doing this, I'll tell you about a lime experience I had yesterday. I was at a, um, whoops. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> the knife handle's in the pie. Yep. This is bad. Um, this looks this is terrible. Sure, I'll <laughs> It's uh, all crumbled up. All now you're mashing it around with a fork. <laughs> and like dropping the whole slice on top uh, of on the top rest of the, the pie. Next side down, at no. this point, there's no way to get any clean slices out of this thing. I mean, I guess the first slice of pie is Thank always you. a little hard to get out of there. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, guys, I'll get it. You guys can get yeah. your own. Um, you guys can get your own. Uh, mm. Wow. Trying to say that on the mic. Um, Joe, yeah, I jumped the is, gun and, and tried some. This is great. Oh, good. Well, crust, it is a little messy getting out. That pie crust is, uh, we're, we're cutting it right now. We're cutting out the slices. And the pie crust is a little sticky. I don't know. That one came out pretty clean. That was wow. pretty good. Jeff just cut one. Like That's Jeff great. He's, He's um, a pie he genius. Uh, well, yeah, let me just talk a little. Yeah, I've never made this. Is my first key lime pie I've ever made. I love key lime pie, um, but never tried making one before. I think I've never even made whatever kind of pie this is, which is a like a cream pie, I guess. Oh man, that's good. Um, I use, that's very good. Oh, good. Mm, Joseph, damn. Get my crust. Uh, Dave, get yourself. I a feel piece. like the first piece getting all messed up like that was maybe because it was the first one, and to get it out of the pie. Yeah, yeah that tough. seems. Those napkins. I'll take that bullet yeah. though. Yeah, um, I actually problem. used two different recipes for this that I kind of what? was Woo! rocking and rolling between. Uh, one from <laughs> oh, because oh, we're a band. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I okay. I was jazzing between them. Okay. Um, uh, 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 
Uh, one, you know, just I went to some old some old chestnuts of recipe places. Allrecipes.com, I thought had a good simple recipe. And then I also I use, use one. them a lot. They're great. Uh, actually, I think they're great. I mean, I don't know what people. I always end up there because I think they're yeah. the first hit on like a Google search. I always go by the number of comments and ratings mm. to see what people say when I, I'm going to bake something off that. I go by what ingredients I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then I also was using one from food, the Food Network website. They seem to be very similar, but with just a few differences. Um, like and them. So I made the graham cracker crust, and then I made the pie. I made both of those, uh, and the gra- both are very simple. Uh, the graham crackers, that's literally just you buy a big box of graham crackers, you put them in a Ziploc bag, and then I used a rolling pin to smash them up into graham cracker dust. Mm-hmm. Then I add in uh, some butter and a little bit of sugar, and you mix that up, and then you just basically press that into the pie plates. Got it. Bake it. Uh, <clears throat> you get it up. Sugar, you said- yeah, uh, yeah, just the graham crackers, sugar, and butter. Mm. Press that into the pie plate, get it up on the sides, stick it in the oven for about eight minutes. How long, what was it baking at? Or eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees, came out, yeah, ready to have filling put in it. Mm-hmm. The filling is then uh, just... Oh, I didn't know Oh, that. there's this whipped oh, the cream. cream. We forgot about the whipped cream. cream. Oh, oh, I got one bite left. Right, we just a little dot. Great, perfect. Um, I'll take a big old blob. <laughs> The filling is three egg yolks, lime zest, so I zested a lime, a can of one can of sweetened condensed milk, and two thirds a cup of lime juice. Mm-hmm. And I just used store bought lime juice. Um, like what? The one that is in a lime shaped container? No, actually, I didn't even use that one. <laughs> I used the uh, Signature Select brand uh, bottle oh. of lime juice. Um, though I did see I, we had some of the uh, the one that's shaped like a lime. Well, that's I not even, as good though, right? Like I, I think that's like. Yeah, that's not very good. Yeah. It seems like it might even be fake. Um, you know what's good? Whoa, Albertsons okay. has this other one that's called like Fanny Mays or something, and it's in a like a normal bottle. And Is it like it's a, the organic juice section or whatever? Yeah, it, it, it tastes more like real lime juice. That's interesting. Yeah, I kind of didn't put a lot of thought into this. It's great. Though. <laughs> so it came out very good. Yeah, just combine those. Mix it with an electric mixer for a long time. You mix it for like five minutes with this mixer mm-hmm. uh, until it's like nice and fluffy. Pour that into the crust. Bake for 10 minutes. Uh, also about 350 degrees, and then you just let it cool. You bake you bake the the mixture in. You pour it in and you then pour bake it that. in. So you've already baked the crust once. Oh, uh, comes you bake bake the crust for about eight minutes. Let it get kind of like crispy and toasted. Take it out. Uh, then pour in the mixture and bake it for ten more minutes. Mm, nice. And then you come out and you let it cool. And those little bits in there, the zest is bits of the rind. That's the rind. Yeah, I took the lemon and just like oh. did it on the little uh, shredder and thing. And can you can you put it right in the fridge after? Because this is refreshing and, and chilly yes. in, a, in a great way. The, well, Jeff, it's good you asked about this uh, because <laughs> you're you are supposed to put it right in the fridge afterwards. But I uh, finished baking it and I went and started watching Infinity War on Netflix <laughs> and I fell asleep. And I woke up and I'd left the pie out all night long. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh boy. So what's going to happen when you watch Endgame this week? <laughs> uh, so, but then I put it in the fridge and it's been in the fridge for over 24 hours. As I, so you did. got nice you and did cool. It. I got a question, Joe, about graham crackers. Are I'll, they. Here oh, we go. <laughs> are they a flavor? Or Graham. Because like, flavor? I, I guess I thought of them as like a maple or like a syrupy. Flavor. Like you're saying is grand on the box it has honey pack. like a honey thing oh, yeah honey, honey was the flavor there was a couple options at the store and I got the honey ones but like because that felt the most ne- that's one of the most standard to me. sure hmm. I guess yeah if it, if it didn't say honey flavor though what's a normal gram is that just like how do they cram all that gram how do they cram it <laughs> I don't know uh, a gram I wonder if I could bake a, gra- a gram cracker <laughs> you gotta try yeah. man <laughs> to what end it'll just get huge I guess. Joe, this tastes delicious, and I imagine if you would have messed it up, like that the the uh, the lime part could have not set, you know, and it could have been like r- drippy custard as mm-hmm. we're eating it, but that didn't happen. It, it's it's holding its shape. Yeah. Unlike the crust, it's crumbled to oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, you think like pure lime juice and condensed milk, right? Yeah, that's a that's Everything asking for stuff. trouble. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, it amortizes it, in a good way. Yeah, it gelled really well. Quick, Wikipedia says. Graham crackers are cinnamon flavored crackers. What? Cinnamon flavored graham flour, and then sometimes with. So the word a graham gram is coming from the flour. Oh. Graham flour. Yeah, I wonder what graham. Flour. Where are you gonna make graham bread? Now, um, I was in uh, Key West recently, and I ate a bunch of uh, key lime pie. And the thing there is, the lime part is almost almost too tart to eat, so it has to have the cream on top. Like, there's usually like 
six inches of meringue piled on top of a very tart cake and you're kind of all like oh. you need it to kind of mm-hmm. cut it's, the it's tartness. It's like a layer of the cake. Mm-hmm. Is, yeah. Is that like heavy. Top. And like, so you know you're making your, your um, the condensed milk part is going to come out like kind of grossly sour, but it's going to mm-hmm. be all balanced out in the yeah. end. Yeah. But I, this is more pleasant. Like the, the lime part is tangy, but not like doesn't make you pucker up. Yeah. I think I was reading about the difference between a regular, what do we think of as a regular lime and a key lime. And a, the key lime was like more, like sour has like a very strong, a much stronger. It's like a tiny little um, golf ball size, not not unlike a Benet roll. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to. You need a lot of those to. When I was just reading about this, you need a lot of those to squeeze out enough lime juice if you're going to make it. You know, by just squeezing. Yeah. Limes. Oh, I started to st- uh, say this uh, lime story that happened to me last oh, night. Oh yeah, yeah. I was out at a bar and I wasn't uh, having a drink, so I had a seltzer and lime. Uh, the bartender gave it to me. The lime that I went to go squeeze my drink was dry. It was like oh, I squeezed gross. it, like nothing came out of it. I was like, it's I was like, like can I have a new lime? This is it's like powdery chalk. Yeah, and she was looking through the you know little tray they have for limes, and she like picked through a bunch before she found a wet one. I was like, Ugh. ew. <laughs> Do you think it's possible that bartender was being cheap and she had sucked all the juice out of your lime? <laughs> yeah, and she was making key lime pie in the back and using your juice. <laughs> It's She's very possible. Your juice, man. If my juice is out there in some key lime fucking pie. I, remember at our old house, we had a lemon tree growing in the driveway. Oh, I use those all the time. And some, most of the time, there were those really good kind of LA lemons that have like a really thick skin on it, but mm-hmm. then it was a good lemon. But like, You need a thick skin in LA sometimes. That's true. All the rejection <laughs> auditions. Um, <laughs> I remember every once in a while getting one that you just cut into it. I was like, <laughs> it was like uh, Clark Griswold cutting into or a there's turkey. there's so much skin, there's not enough. There's nothing oh, yeah. meat in there to juice. Oh, yeah. It's a tough game, this citrus. It's like a thick, nerfy rind. Yeah. You gotta like cut through to get to the, that that wet stuff. Yeah. Joe, this was great. Um, really good. I thought that's your lime scooter. Your, your, it was gonna be a lime scooter yeah, me too. story. I thought no. so too. No, I did. At least a bird scooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got those types of stories for a different podcast. Oh, a different, okay. different podcast. Um, hey, uh, speaking of citrus, can I bring up something else citrus related? <laughs> okay. You guys remember Five Alive? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. Is that still around? That I was know, really good. It was five different citrus fruits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Or maybe it was Sunny D drinking it and feeling like a burn in my throat. <laughs> oh, I think that was Sunny D. I would always drink it. Like, Sunny D, I kind of remember yeah. that. Yeah, it had a sting. Well, great. So on the rating scale of uh, seeds, let's rate this key lime pie. Well, um, I, you, the, the present, I got to knock you out points for having the crust be crumbly as hell. <laughs> Fair, and fair. it looks like a goddamn avalanche. <laughs> so the 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 visual, but then you balance avalanche. that out with the um, the nice lime twist on top. So you'll get a seven for presentation. But I'm going to say the taste of the pie overall delicious. Nine out of ten. Seeds. Nine out of ten Woo! seeds. Very good. Holy crap! My experience with this pie, Joe, is is interesting. You got the first slice. I got the first slice when I first laid eyes upon this. When you took it out of the guitar, whatever that was. <laughs> whatever that shit <laughs> that waste of time was <laughs> not just our time the listeners time uh-huh. too you were up high you were at a 10 wow and then like any sound wave it took a dip when you started cutting into it sound waves go up and down this I understand. Yeah, that's this industry is, talk is, for yeah, us yeah, yeah. Music, music <laughs> and, a, and a podcaster as well Joe you got a seat in your hair and, and it's yep it's gone okay how'd it get up there <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a bag the seed. Oh, uh, folks, it's a <laughs> it's a Sesame Street and it's very dead. About where this is going? <laughs> You're sweating seeds. Oh, oh the it's rating. gone. It's gone. You're going with the rain. So it was. It went down because the thing was falling apart. I got a <laughs> upside down piece. You got an upside down piece that was just kind of a yeah. But terrible. the taste of this pie. Oh my god. This is the best key lime pie I've ever had. Oh, are you, no, 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 no. I'm not you, kidding. You are out. I am here. not kidding. This is a 10 out of 10 dark brown turd seeds. <laughs> turd shaped. <laughs> turd In this shaped case, it's good. Shit seeds. This really was. I, I, I would good. tell, I would write home about this. Uh, I'm going to echo Mike's sentiment there and say this thing was, a, was ro- a roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, you had it going out. It started off and it had that great twist up top. Yeah, and cool. then but then as you started to, as things started to unfold, <laughs> yeah. things things went we bad, and I, and I started to feel how I felt at the end of Infinity War. Oh, oh so sad, bored, <laughs> sad, bored. <laughs> <laughs> and it had taken too long. But now I feel like things are going to be better. Oh, okay. Or they 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 got better as I started to eat the pie, oh. and now I like it. <laughs> okay, that's a, great. I, that, I think that lime twist on top. Did you somebody teach you how to do that? No. 
He just figured it out. Well, I saw I saw a photo of it, and I yeah, yeah. stared at the photo for a long time. How would you? And I said, "How that? did they get the?" I basically took like a slice of a, a cross section of a lime, yep. and then I kind of cut about halfway into it, and then twisted it a little. Yeah, and then set it back down. Do you yeah. have video? Of this would be amazing. Did you do uh, a yeah, first a, first try or take a couple? Uh, this was a first try. Wow! Wow! Um, wow. But I looked at the photo online. <clears throat> I just looked, was staring at a photo. Was this trying to figure out. was this a fun one to make, or were you stressed you very, were going to get? It? This was very easy to make, and I was not stressed about this. Yeah. The because this was just like. So simple ingredients and I feel like with a bread like a traditional bread like the rolls we made or you made we ate. Uh, there's so many steps to kind of screw up for it to all fall apart. Yeah, yeah, that seems to be what always happens. Is yeah. I never anticipate the the step that's going to screw up. Even for the pie thing, talking about oh you got to even be you got to nail the cutting of the pie. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, tricky. <clears throat> yeah, this is that would not fly in a restaurant. I don't think. No, no, no. You would be fired on the spot. You know what? It's another good thing about uh, key lime pie. I always feel like even if you're really full after dinner, you could eat key lime pie because it's uh, laid and tart and tangy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's very true. And again, here today, we came here full of penang curry. Then we ate multiple beignet rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that was still delicious. The pie like revived me. It's like a digestif. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was, it was, a, it was quite a surprise. Quite oh, a surprise. We that it was so right. good. Great. Our <laughs> hair is blown back. Yeah. Incredible. Um, no, wait a minute. Hold on, Joe. Yeah, I would. Hmm? What is that That picture over there? Is there something behind that picture? <laughs> There's something what is that picture? Is that you and Rachel? Which picture? That picture on the middle, <laughs> on your middle. So Mike thinks there's something behind, behind it. You think there's something behind a picture? <laughs> on, on your show. I, I, just, I feel like I see something poking out. I, Mike, I think I know what you mean. <laughs> Am I, wait, this picture? Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that's yeah that's that one. It just looks like it's. It just looks like it pitched, po- yeah, poking <laughs> out a little bit. Yeah. What is this? That's oh. a sloppy surprise. You just oh, got sloppy you got surprise, Joe. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's a nutter butter. It's a nutter butter. <laughs> sloppy yeah. surprise, rise. Wow, this is a sloppy surprise. That's right. Unbelievable. Oh, I didn't even. I had no idea. This. You didn't know. It's a surprise. Was we thought you were onto us. I felt man. rattled. My hair is blown back now. Should yeah. we open this and eat it? It's up to you. Rate the nutter butter. <laughs> yes, we will definitely open that. Well, I'm gonna eat a nutter butter. Um, uh, the nutter butter looks pretty good, not crumbly. Uh, yeah, it's very <laughs> clearly made in a nice factory. So, Jeff, um, did you give a rating, or did you just talk about? I just talked about it. I was trying to draw a parallel between the. Yeah, infinity let's hear some seeds. I think we no. skipped over. Well, yeah, I give it to. I give it ten seeds. I, it's a great. It's a great pie. Oh, okay. um, I would give this a eight point five. Taste and seeds, and I'd give it a seven point five appearance. I think. Really, I think the appearance could be a little bit better. I saw some really yeah. elaborate yeah. ones that I was like, "Ooh, that'd be cool to do." Well, it looked great. It just wasn't structurally sound, Joe. <laughs> and at the beginning, before you cut into it, the crumbliness was nice and rustic looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> but then it all went to shit. How's that nutter butter? <laughs> nutter butter is very good. Um, I eat one of these too. You know, a nutter butter. I can I kind of eat like one of them, and I'm like. I'm good. I with the I still have the key lime pie taste in my mouth, and I feel like a nutter butter would add to that. Like so sweet, yeah. My mouth would turn inside out. But very tasty. This is one of those snacks where I'm. Like, a, yeah, nutter butter is great. I don't know who buys them, and when, yeah. I, when I buy one, I'm like, who would ever yeah. fucking buy four of these? I'm good with like yeah a bite of that. Yeah, yeah. They never. I never buy them, but if they show up, I usually have one. The, the it would be really funny so if you just were an adult shopping and you bought a big pack <laughs> of Nutter Butters. <laughs> uh, so I always have, do you guys have an album coming out? Is that album right? is coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I hear you guys have brought a song for the Breadcast, li- off the new album for the Breadcast. Mm-hmm. List. That's right. right. Yes. A sneaky song. peaky. This is incredible. Yep. What's, can, what's the title of this track we're about to hear? This is Smashing the Plates. <laughs> Smashing the Plates. Wow, great. This is incredible. Breadcast exclusive maybe not but uh, yeah yeah, definitely yeah. The break, we're yeah. we'll take it off the album so that only you have it okay smashing the plates by the sloppy boys <laughs> Everything was nice and fancy Myers I was having fun, I was having a moment And then I got a little too wild I started smashing the plates Yeah, I was smashing the plates Oh, I was smashing the plates And I was smashing the plates What can I say? I was having fun What can I say? I'm Greek An ancient disaster 
desire, an inner instinct to Giannis onto the Kumbo streak. I was smashing the plates. Yeah, I was smashing the plates. Oh, I was smashing the plates. And I was smashing the plates. I strolled over to Crate and Barrel and Ethan Allen and Sir Top. You know what I did, what I did right then? I ran back to Williams, Sonoma, started smashing the plates. There's no circle surface to be laying them on No fine, fine china, no ceramic receptacles for your limes, your pine nuts, your yams, your vegetables No porcelain place for your gherkins and dates Cause somebody went and trashed all the platters But it's not my fault, what were they thinking? Sure, I guess I feel remorse But you gotta understand the risk you're running You can't let a freak in a preppy plate store And it's not just plates, it's metaphory Greater, grander allegory and me, I'm an angel from above. Jesus and scones may break your bones when they're falling all over old Bill Sinones. Sharp, sharp, sharks. There's no sharks here, partier, but it's a part of me nonetheless. Cause I was smashing the plates. Yeah, I was smashing the plates. Oh, I was smashing the plates. And I was smashing the plates. Yeah, I was smashing the plates. Oh, I was smashing the plates. Yeah, I was smashing the plates. I was smashing the plates! Wow, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Where can uh, they find you guys online? Okay. Check us out at, at the Sloppy Boys on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram at the Sloppy Boys. Yep. Yep, great. Right. Find Spotify. Find us on Spotify. Oh, you know what? Rate and review us on iTunes. That's actually a iTunes helpful thing. Oh, that's Google. We're on Google Play. We're on Amazon. Anywhere you stream music, Apple Music. Get I mean, Lifelong Vacation. That was last year's yeah, album. Rate yeah. that one. Listen too. to that before the new one. Yeah, and it's only our old album is only one year old, so that's still new too, basically. Yeah. Great. Well, cool. Well, Mike. Tim, Jeff, thanks for being on the show. Oh wait, hold, hold on a wait, second, Joe. Okay. Can I just add one uh, one thing? Okay. Um, sorry, David. Is there something behind you? There's a what? Uh, oh, there's a Dodgers look... cap that looked askew. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Wait, there's... what's, what's <laughs> up with that cap? Doesn't look like his place. Wow. That's a second oh! sloppy surprise. Oh! Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I thought the show was over. <laughs> that's what you makes thought... it a surprise. A sloppy surprise. Crazy. The end of the show is canceled. A cinnamon. This, what is that? A cinnamon toast crunch bar? Yeah, it's a cereal bar. That's the last thing you expected, isn't it? I didn't never even knew this existed. <laughs> so I used to, who knew? Made with uh, real milk filling. <laughs> 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 it would be better if they said not real milk filling. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like the sloppy boy surprise. You're surprised by what you... <laughs> that surprise. Well, this we... looks good. This does. I do want to try this one. Yeah. It's like a chewy bar that is really thick and huge. It does look really dense. It looks really thick, but it comes, across, it comes apart really easily. Yeah. Shut up. Mushy. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. It's delicious. I like it. Well, that, I like it, too. Yeah. That, that milk uh, layer is not too thick or weird or anything. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh, my God. That's, you, you, that's your breakfast. No. I'm set. Tomorrow, I'm going to skip breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is really good. Is that These must be kind of newish. I've never seen these before. Mmm. Mm. It does taste just like cinnamon toast crunch. Yep. The know. the milk, I don't know what that's all about, but what are the names of those bakers? Oh, there's uh, one where Neil and Paul love to point out that they have normal names and then the third Wendell one. is that? It's like it's Milton like, Wendell and, and like Eddie Quantum or something. Or something. <laughs> like the, the, the third guy is really weird. Quanto? Yeah, Wendell. <laughs> Quanto. <laughs> yeah, it's something good, folks. Look it up. Hey, thanks for being on the show, guys. Thanks, yeah, Joe. Thanks for having us, Joe. All right, this has been the Breadcast. Special thanks to my guests, the Slavi Boys. Their new album, Dancing on the Wind, comes out on Friday, June 7th. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at, at the Breadcast for photos and links to the recipes. Our audio engineers are Mark David Christensen and Emma Erdbrink. 
Our music is written and performed by Danny Cohen, and I'm your toast. <clears throat> Sorry, Ooh, host, Joe Saunders. Thanks for listening. The Brave